What's going on guys? Were y'all surprised to see a what's for dinner video in your notice today? <laughs> I felt super motivated this week so I picked up the camera as I was cooking dinner. It's a crazy mess around here around dinner time because children are just hungry and, and anxious to eat and so sometimes it can be messy. So that's why I don't pick up the camera as much as I used to when it comes to filming meals. And that's also why I do voiceovers because Lord knows y'all do not want to hear what goes on in the background around my feet while I'm trying to cook. <laughs> Anyways, I've got four meals that I literally just cooked this week that I want to share with you guys. We enjoy. There are a couple that we make on a regular basis and there are a couple that we tried out new. So we did enjoy all of them. We're going to I actually have those as leftovers tonight because tonight is a t-ball night for us for uh, Harrison so we're gonna pull all that stuff back out and we get home from t-ball and we're gonna enjoy that and have leftovers because I've cooked four nights in a row and I'm tired anyone else just get tired of cooking <laughs> but anyway these meals are really simple really like minimal ingredients so I feel like that's what you guys enjoy no, that's what I enjoy so What's up if you're new, by the way, my name is Jennifer and this is Southern Mama Drama. I share a lot of like food related content, mostly some lifestyle, family type situation stuff too, every once in a while. And if that is something that you're into, I would love to invite you to subscribe and stick around a while. Let's go ahead and get on into today's video, guys. <laughs> I would not consider myself a good friend of yours if I did not share this with you guys. Y'all, I have discovered a new way to make hot dogs and I will never go back, ever. Hot dogs in the air fryer. OMG, so easy. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Take however many hot dogs. We're gonna do eight. I had six left over in my Nathan's and then I got two ballpark here. I'm gonna put four slits in each of them so they don't bust open on us once we get our cuts made in our hot dog wieners we're gonna go ahead and place those in our air fryer basket and now I'm going to set my air fryer to 360 degrees and we're gonna let them cook for six minutes look at this guys beautiful golden you could even go another minute if you like yours a little more done, but this is actually perfect for us. The next step, which blew my mind, okay, blew my mind is we're going to put these hot dogs inside the buns and we're going to place them back in the air fryer on 360 for two minutes. And it toasts the bun to just like this perfect crispness and just beautifulness. And you guys, chef's kiss. Look at that. Perfecto. Let me know if you guys try this out because, oh my gosh, if you don't try anything else, try your hot dogs in the air fryer. I promise. They're good. So good. Next up is No Peak Chicken. And you guys, this was a new one for me. I think I found it on TikTok. Get you a 9 by 13 get you a two cups of rice i rinse my rice just to kind of wash off some of the starch from that got one cup of chicken broth and two cans of cream of chicken and we're just gonna put all of this in the bottom of this 9 by 13. next we're gonna go ahead and combine these ingredients really well And here I've got three chicken breasts that I have just cubed up. I'm gonna season with Montreal steak seasoning. Yes, it says steak seasoning, but I'm using it on chicken. It is what it is. And I'm using this Weber roasted garlic and herb seasoning. I just bought this. I've never bought that before. Or I've never purchased that one before and I was really impressed with it. I'm gonna be using that on a lot more things. I just never noticed it in the store before. So once I get the cheese, the chicken seasoned, we're gonna go ahead and add it to the nine by 13, just placing it kind of on top of what's already in there. And 
and then we're going to sprinkle on one packet of onion soup mix. We're going to go ahead and cover and we're going to cook this in the oven on 350 degrees for one hour. But hold tight. When I got ready to pull this out of the oven, it didn't quite look done. So we stuck our thermometer in there because I'm a little bit anal when it comes to my meat being done. And it needed a little more time, guys. So I kind of did need to peek on this chicken. I needed to peek on it. And it needed about 10 more minutes because the meat was just not quite there yet. So back in the oven it goes for just a few minutes. No biggie. It's just add, I guess, 10 minutes to that. Or you could add a little bit of temp, maybe. And uh, this is the final result. I didn't get a picture of my plate because it was crazy this night. But you can serve this with, like, I don't know, green beans whatever be creative okay up next hamburger hash brown casserole you guys this is one of my go-to recipes i have made this so many times and you can put different meats in it you can put no meat in it it's up to you you can make it just like a vegetable side okay first off we're gonna start with one stick of melted butter we're gonna add in one whole 16 ounce container of sour cream don't put Blue Moon in there. Just don't. I don't know what in the world, my husband. And then we're going to add in one can of cream of chicken soup. Okay, camera died here. But I added in <laughs> a whole pound of mild cheddar cheese and 32 ounces of frozen hash browns. And now I'm adding in two pounds of ground beef that I have already cooked up. And we're going to combine all this. I mean, it's so simple, right? So simple. Once we get all of the ingredients mixed together, we're going to add that to a 9 by 13. And we're going to throw it on in the oven. I cooked this at 350 degrees for 45 minutes. But hold on. There's one more step get yourself some of these here french fried onions trust me and my friend denise trust us okay um add those to the top okay and then we're gonna throw this back in the oven for 10 minutes and my brother called me this night and i was facetiming with him while i was cooking he lives in new jersey so i don't get to see him very often especially now he started a new a new job so we haven't seen him in quite a few months and i miss him so much that i forgot to get a picture of my plate on this night as well we're just doing great guys we're just doing great but trust me try this i promise it's good raise your hand if you've ever heard of salsa verde chicken because i had not and holy goodness we tried this out and it's delicious two ingredients i've got three chicken breasts here i'm going to put down in my crock pot and then the second ingredient is this here herdes salsa verde and i got mild and it was still a little spicy so we did add two jars of that to our chicken i cooked that on low for six hours and when i came back you guys y'all oh my gosh so fragrant so delicious so m-o-i-s-t um definitely try this one out guys it was super easy so i shredded up shredded the chicken up as you can see here you can leave it whole you can cut it up you it's really versatile versatile yeah and i just served this with black beans and corn easy enough so simple oh and i did serve it on rice by the way so yes delicious. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. Thank y'all so much for being here. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope I gave you some ideas on some meals to make for your family and enjoy together. And that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Did I say that? I can't remember if I did or not. Anyway, bye guys.